Hello guys, today we're gonna check it out, the EGR cooler. This is a really famous part, as you know, all these trucks nowadays they have EGR cooler, regardless. Back in 2005, 2006, when they start, you know, doing the transition, installing the EGR cooler in the trucks, EGR valve to lower the emissions. So nowadays, it's been a long way from the EGR coolers and EGR bulbs. And let's start saying the principle is the same for all the EGR coolers up to date. It has, as you can see, this is for a DD application. And this one down here is for a D13 application for a Volvo engine for a Detroit engine and as you can see one of the thing is there are ports for coolant in here you see this is one this is another one you see the same goes for the bulb one this is one port for the coolant this is the other one here okay and this hole in here as you can see, it's kind of black. This is where the exhaust goes in. In this case, from the DD application, is in here. And for the bulbos, is in here. Okay. So, let's start seeing, does it really work in real life? Some people say yeah, other people say no, okay. Back in 2000, I believe 2006, 7, uh, EPA required to lower the emissions. So they come up with the idea from the EGR cooler and the EGR valve as a part of the exhaust system. And many drivers say, oh, I'm going to get rid of it. So my truck is going to do better MPG. But that's not true at all. Because when you start up your truck, if the EGR valve is not working, right, like completely is closed, your engine will take longer to warming up. Yeah, if you check it out closely with a truck that has no EGR compared to the one it has EGR, you can see the time that it takes to warm up. The one with EGR will warm up faster. So one of the problems many people find out with the EGR is when obviously the coolant goes into the exhaust system all right that's a common issue between all the EGR coolers regardless of the engine brand so what you need to do well many people say oh you need to fix the EGR cooler I don't know if that's really possible as you can see here, all this part in here is weld all around. And this is not uh, just a basic welding. The people who do who does it, it's really good at it. You see this part in here. So the best thing as always say is install it brand new or remanufactured from the dealer. Never buy uh, aftermarket parts for this because these parts are really expensive for example if the aftermarket part costs one thousand five hundred dollars and the, the new one costs two thousand dollars then the difference is just five hundred so it's better for you just to put a brand new part instead to put an old part so the difference between this one, DD application and the bulb application, none. It, is, it does the same job regardless. All right. As you can see, the exhaust goes in here and come out from here. All right. And the EGR opens, so the exhaust got exhaust is gonna flow through it, and it's gonna go back to the intake. So that's the main job from the EGR cooler yeah 
So the exhaust, the, the gas from the exhaust won't get really hot going to the intake. It needs something to cool out, to cool down the gas and that's the job of the EGR cooler. As you can see, there is unions in here. These are for the coolant. And these ones sometimes give you troubles. They sometimes start leaking coolant. So if you have any problems, just replace them. Usually many drivers from, in this case for Volvo, they say, hey, my truck is leaking coolant, but I cannot find out from where is it. Sometimes the coolant leak is from here. You see, let me take a closer look, as you can see, you can see guys. You see the union over there, this union in here, the union. Sometimes they leak from there and you had to replace the, uh, the you had to replace that union over there. And one of the problems with, with replacing that union between Detroit and Volvo is like, this one, it goes on the top, and as it goes on the right hand side of the engine on the top. So you don't have to remove a lot of things to get uh, to get to this part. But the problem with Volvo is like you must remove the turbo. Turbo is not here anymore. But you have to remove the turbo in order to replace the union over there. So that's something to take, you know, into account because uh, because it requires more labor, right? The, 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 the parts may be cheap, but the labor is what is expensive on this kind of job. If your problem is just the coolant leak over there. If you find out there is coolant in here on the outlet side of the EGR cooler, I'm sorry guys to say it, but it is time to replace it. Who knows who's saying the truth about the EGR cooler or the EGR system itself? Because nowadays all the manufacturers are required to have their engines with EGR system on it. Diesel in this case. And the only thing you can do is to buy the vehicle as it is. And you cannot mess around with any component from the exhaust system or ATS and many people has complained for years saying the EGR cooler doesn't do anything EGR is just waste of money but that's the law in here in the US so let's hope in the, near, in the, the, in the nearest future they will change that um, other problems I find with the EGR cooler is like drivers saying, oh, my coolant is disappearing and I don't know where is it, right? And this is, could be one of the causes because in here, the coolant gets burned, you never see it, so that's why. As I told you guys before, the only thing you can do, especially in the newer engines, like DD 13, 15, 16, Volvo, Packard, uh, in others it's like you have to fix the power the way it is because your engine is designed to work with it if you for example I have heard that uh, many people uh, trying to get rid of the EGR system and that's no good guys I have seen so many problems related to that and believe me that's a headache a headache to fix it so please guys keep your your EGR system in shape and you will see you will save some money in the long run so all, all that I have for you today guys um, uh, this is everything that you need to know about the EGR cooler is a basic part of your engine and thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye